Here we are at Moose at Bear Mountain Camp with Guide Bob Nudie and Guide Paul LaRock and we're going out and check the moose. It's flickering. Here's some real big moose tracks going past this post. I'm looking at Donna's tree stand, or somebody's tree stand. The moose went right underneath it. There's the moose right in the sight. He's taking a piss. He's not doing anything, but I'm shaking like a fucking leaf. I'm going to stop this camera. And I'm going to take the other camera and try to get another picture. He's eating in front of me, doesn't care whether I watch him or not. I don't know if, I hope you can see it better than I can. It's not very clear in the camera. Going back and forth. I'm very excited, shaking like a god damn. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to walk closer to him. He's eating off that tree. Try to get closer. Goddamn camera says battery. Must be getting weak. Maybe it's loose. I'll take a look. The moose is watching Nudie to my left. He's probably 25 feet away from me at the time. I've taken pictures with Jim's camera, but I don't even know if there's any film in it. Nudie has a camera with him. We're hoping that he gets some shots. This is unreal. He doesn't care whether we're here or not. He keeps on eating off the tree, the bark off this tree. As you can see him looking up, he hears me talking. He doesn't care. Over here, I'm going to go over here, try to pick up Nudie. There's Nudie over in the woods, sneaking by, closer. I wish I knew how to run this camera. He's got 
five points. They're not very thick, but they're probably 15 inches high. I would say the moose weighs 600 pounds. He's not big, but he's beautiful. I sure hope this camera is working. I think the moose came out of a zoo. He wants to eat right out of our hands. I think Art Fluff might eat his goddamn word and so will Roger Backus. As I'm talking, this moose is 25 feet in front of me. He doesn't care whether I talk or not. If this camera's working, you'll know what I mean. He's really watching Bob. Bob's coming at him from my left with his gun cocked. I don't know what the hell he's going to do with that 30-30. He's pretty huge. 600 pound deer is a hell of a nice deer. Kathy Persick is going to like this when she plays it tonight. A little closer. Still doesn't care. How's that? I'm probably 20 feet away or less. There he is looking right at me. And he's still eating. Pulling the bark off the tree and chewing it. Watching Nudie over to the other side. Beside me here. He's scared shitless. He's got the gun in ready position. I should be looking the other way in case that moose moves. I'm going to swing back and pick up the moose. There he is. Big as life. Watching Bob Nudie. He don't seem to give a shit. Very hard to see the antlers. Five points. I'm not shaking as bad as I was before. There's a little sight on the antlers. Three on one side, two big ones on the other. He's very hungry. We saw four beds coming in. I don't know. I have a feeling there might be more than one moose in the area. You got well, the this is on. battery, so on and so forth. And I got the cover on. I can't see Nudie. Yeah. Huh? Where the hell's Nudie? God damn thing is running and I can't see Nudie. There he is. Now, let's get him up close. We just got Sue seeing that big moose. This is part of our camp and I'm going to shut it off. You got to get that off. Keep it that away. Where the hell are you? I can't even see you. Good. Why can't you see? All right, well, walked in with six and that moose took off and we never saw it again. Uh, we followed for two miles, straight line, and never stopped. So when we get anywhere near it, we should stop and have everybody hang back except for a couple folks and find out if the moose is there. If the moose is there, we'll load the drugs and then and then go in and try to get a shot at it. Um, I want one person with me to go to shoot their job is to mark where we shoot from and to keep track of that dart. Now the drugs we're using are a morphine base uh, compound that's morphine-like compound. It's 10,000 times more potent than morphine. Okay. You, uh, I just talked with a veterinarian the other day that knew a guy in Africa that they darted, I think it was an elephant, I can't remember, took the dart out put the dart on the on the seat of the pickup. The guy sat on the dart and already shot. Okay. It killed him. Yeah. This stuff is hotter than all get out. So our main concern is that nobody touches the darts. Okay. And if we miss the if I miss the moose, because all you have to do is hit a little twig and, and these darts will go flying. The backup person, their job is to make sure they keep track of where it is. Snow on helps because you'll see a hole where it goes in. But as our first concern is make sure we don't lose the dart. Uh, almost always when you shoot, even 
no matter what it hits, it'll go off and it'll shoot the drug out. Uh, and it evaporates fairly quickly anyway. So even if even if you miss, um, the drug will evaporate out of the dart. Uh, we've, we've had one in the office. It was in the office for about three weeks, a month, and there was nothing in it at the end of a month uh, that we hadn't fired at all. But very careful about the drugs. Uh, that moose in Lowville, we were across the river, the guy, so nobody had access to us, just, just us. Darted, hit the moose with the first dart, had to shoot again, second dart, moose went down, we went over, the first dart was not in the moose anymore. So we walked back, there was a guy walking up the trail, carrying the, carrying the dart, he said, you lose this? Uh -huh. And we were the only people on that whole side of the river. He had gotten a canoe and canoed across over to us. I just about shit my pants. So I don't ever want that to happen again. Although he wasn't at any risk unless he got stuck with it. Um, okay, everybody's not going to touch the dart, nod their heads. <laughs> That's right. The moose supposedly going to be out once you hit it. It will take two to eight minutes for the moose to go down. To go down? Right. If we do, if we do a good job, um, the moose won't even, won't even run away. They'll just turn around and look at him, what the hell was that and keep doing whatever he's doing. And how long is he going to be out? He will, he will be out until we administer the antagonist. Huh. Uh, there's two drugs, one to put him down, one to bring him up. And if we don't administer the antagonist, he'll die. Pardon? He'll die. So once you hit him, you got to find him. That's right. But this is, this is perfect conditions. If he's there, this is, this is absolutely great. So why don't we uh, mosey down in? Before, and, uh, before we leave, do we want any more of these radios? We, we have, have two in here. Oh, you, you can get two. Right. We got one here. Okay. So we should, we we should, should have more radios and yeah. people. Right. So why don't we get, when we get a little closer, why don't you and uh, whoever's got the gun? So I think, I think it's just to cause you pain. We have uh, sent Ken and Paul ahead. They're looking for the moose. This is the terrain that we're into, and the moose is on the edge of this, on the edge of the hardwoods. And it's, I don't have to swing around too far, because no matter what direction I look, it looks exactly the same. These gentlemen are from the, where? <laughs> Identify yourselves. Al Hicks from uh, NCON down in Albany. Okay. Dave Hamlin, DEC Canton here. Ted Smith, Region 6, Watertown. And? Roger Backus, incognito. <laughs> I can't even see him. <laughs> I thought we were in a train and not incognito. Incognito, <laughs> hey, North Dakota. Yeah, I don't want you guys to know me. We're waiting for a radio call from the boys that are looking for the moose. We were. And I'm out of here. Cut that down. Okay, here we are. We're on the uh, end of the trail. The moose, is, the moose is off to my left. This is as close as Paul the Rock was to the moose yesterday. There's Mr. Ken Dindian. There's the camera buff, Roger Backus. And there's everybody's pal, Paul. As you can see, the conservation officers around here wear orange. <laughs> well. We've been on the stand for two hours, and these guys are finally coming up. Oh, they're carrying Al. That's what the problem is. Hello, gentlemen. Moose number seven, Laroc. <laughs> here comes the moose collared. Shit, here he comes. We just collared that moose right there coming down the trail. Where is he? Jesus. tracks last night. 
Please. Looks like a 10 pointer so from here. <laughs> Out of here, you know. Nice moose. You bite? This is the last place that we sighted the moose. I just walked back down, I'll stay here. Mr. Moose right there. Well, they're, they're closer. <laughs> they're closer than we are. He's still the other crew. to dart the moose right now. They should be coming into view of the camera shortly. They're approximately, I would say close to 90 to 100 yards away from it right now. He seems to be standing still, just taking and looking at the situation. There are seven of us in here, so that's including the moose. So it's getting a little crowded where he is right now. They just shot, I just started my timer on my watch. The moose is standing still. He looks a little groggy. Let's hope he stays out of the water. Don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. Stay there. Stay there. Don't move. I'm going to zoom back just a little bit so you can see the guys that just shot. They're right there. Now I'm going to come back to the moose. I just see his leg twitch a little. Fifty-five seconds have gone by. Possibly fifty-six by since the time I pushed it after the noise.
There's a lot. Oh, there he goes. It's two minutes since the shot. Moose is moving. Oh, he's down. The moose is down. I'm going to leave my position now and move over toward the moose area. We have just approached the mule moose. Three minutes and 50 seconds since the shot. I'm going to go over there now. Well, I'm at the moose. It's been five minutes and 24 seconds since the shot. Guys did a good job. Some of the more exciting work that we get Could somebody do some talking while you're working? Or sure. What we're trying to do is adjust this collar so that it's as loose as we can possibly get it and still give them room to grow. Uh huh. But without having it fall off. He's a nice five point. Ted, you have the tape measure in your pocket? One of my pockets. Somebody, could somebody come and help you? Al, do you need a running time on him yet? Yeah, yeah, we want everything. Steve's, Steve's got, I've got the thing. Got that under control. Six minutes, 53 seconds. Okay. So what are we going to measure? Measure his circumference of his neck about four inches from his ear. How do you think I can get it? Not real tight. How big is it? Circumference of neck, two, two foot six inches, or 760 millimeters. What do you want it in? Does it matter? 730 millimeters? 760. Okay. But it's two foot? Two foot six inches. And I wasn't choking them on. Left horn, uh, brow tine, or close to brow tine, 11 inches. Outside, G1, G2, I don't know what you do. 11 inches on the middle fork. There's a pair of calipers, too. Let's get a feedback. 10 and a half inches. No. On the outside fork. It, it's in the pack. One of the packs. Yeah. Right horn, brow tine, 11 inches. I'm going to have to correct my tape. <coughs> there were 15 yesterday. Outside tine, one foot, two inches. Missed it by an inch, Paul. That's 14. Not bad, is it? What's the main beam on it? I haven't got the calipers yet. Okay. <coughs> How old is it? A yearling. Yearling. One year. Seven months. months. Ears are moving. Okay. That's a dart you've got in his hand, guys. <laughs> in the drug box, there's a tourniquet here. 32 that. millimeters, 51 millimeters. Uh, is, uh, okay, I'm going to get another measure. Okay. That's the right antler. 30, 
52 millimeters. That's done on the right yeah. You want the beam on the left one too, Al? Because it's, it's uh, well, not right wide down. down. Oh, there's a rubber thing down on the bottom, underneath the orange cap. 36 millimeters. Left averages. <coughs> this is the left one, 36. Yeah. And 61. Maybe, maybe it's not in there. It's no big deal if it is. Got a good picture there, Pussy Oh, yeah. Okay. He's looking good. Looks just like a moose should. Want to measure his teeth? He's got three fillings. Uh, Capone did them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just leave my nose alone. Well, I you have a question for I don't know this is a dumb question. Now, after you sure. give him the antagonist, how long do you expect me to hold his head up? <laughs> Until he starts to come out. You need a hand? Is that what you're saying? No well, I'm just looking for an escape room. No. No, no, it's, it, it's not that fast. How, how much would you say that animal weighs? 600 pounds. He's in 20 pounds. Man, that's what Paul... <laughs> You're all right, Paul. You missed the horn by an inch. <laughs> the only thing that you've just done wrong is you missed the horn by one inch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that ought to take your credibility and bring it up quite a bit. Not that it was ever in doubt, Paul. Yeah, I know it never was in doubt. <laughs> Dog. How long is it going to take, do you think? Have you administered it yet? Yes, it is administered. It is. 5.4 IM. Hold on to it. 5.4. What tree are you taking, Al? He's shaking something. I just. He is shaking. 5.4. I didn't hear what you said. Test your transmitter before you let her loose. Been at it about 11 minutes and 45 seconds right about now. Huh? And that's all there is to it? You had five, six guys running around you with these needles, you shake too. <laughs> no, Al. Is that, is that what there is to it now? He's just, he's just coming around now? Head, all right. Okay, get out there. Ted, if you can hold up his head. There he is. Nice moose. Well, you can Ted, you want to get out of there. I, don't be there. Come yeah. this way. Ted. I can't. Come trap. Well, I'm trying to. You're kind of like in the line of fire there, aren't you? Yep. After you guys shot and he's standing there, I said, don't go to water. Don't go to water. <laughs> Artie, were his tracks on the other side of the pond or had he come across it? Oh, he came across right here. Okay. He, he must have been right there when we walked down through. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I was over there and I looked over and he's standing there. 14 minutes now. Looks like you did good, Al. Fourteen eleven. Well, you know, Al, you, you exactly what you said was right.
Look at Frankie's ears. Hey, this is a nice area. I didn't get a lot of pictures of your camera. I didn't get a lot of pictures. Oh, So I'm going to recommend this area to all my moose friends. They come here and they give you free drugs. <laughs> there you go. Eyeball to eyeball with Mr. Moose. <laughs> Focus on that tree. Well, if we're all going to get down by the water so we don't go in it, how come I'm the only one down here? <laughs> you're, the, you're the scariest one here. Right? Who believed this? <laughs> yeah, we actually should. Well, it worked, guys. Now he's got a chance of, well, there's four of us here anyway. <laughs> yeah, but there's three of us huddled up pretty close here. <laughs> <laughs> we look bigger this way. He's just decided that he's going to lay there and show his cut the rest of the afternoon. I don't know, but I'll tell you one thing. It seems to me the conservation department ought to be buying lunch. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with their budget, Roger, with their budget, who wants a cup of soup? Hey, merchants, grab that idea. Tradition has it, and this is a long-standing tradition going back hundreds of years. <laughs> I thought it was the guy that the moose was named after. ECO. <laughs> Would you say that again, Al? ECO. Profile, straight ahead. <laughs> there's a lunch buyer. <laughs> and there's a recipient. some of our tax money to back for our dinner. <laughs> I don't care what you say, Mr. Moose. It wasn't me that did it to you. It's been 18 minutes and 21 seconds. Yep. Let's either take a picture of the moose or you guys. So. You guys seem to be doing about the same as the moose. <laughs> Tradition has it for over a hundred years. <laughs> so that 
must have started just about the same time Ed Bullard got here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did this we we started the, the space program the last time the Russians beat like this. Yeah, those nostrils are really working now. Much more alert than about trying to eat that branch. Come on, darling, you can do it. Get up. Feed him the rock. Come on, do something intelligent. His nostrils were flaring pretty good there a little while ago. He was... You die too, eh, Al? No, it's not me. So goes the moose, so goes the rock. <laughs> Uh-oh. I will tell you about the next one, then. Twenty-two minutes and twenty seconds. incentive for him to get up. Would you run home and get it, Paul? He's pretty stable. Got him when he's up, Dave? Yeah. Okay. Oh. There you go. All right. Trotting away. Nice job, guys. Okay. There goes the, the Laroc moose. All belled and collared. I hope the collar stays on him. Put it on the loose, I was. 12.30. Operation successful. Right, I got 12.31. Well, we're at 24 minutes and 34 seconds. And I lost him. There he is. There he goes. Up the hill. Very nice, fellas. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got him turned. <laughs> You know, if we know you were that good back, you could have called him down the road. 
I guess it's only another one of those funny looking critters. Hey, let's give him a Hey, can't wait for us, shit. We'll all go together. Oh, he's trying to hit the power. Oh, he's a higher elevator. Hey, Bear Mountain's right over there. I don't have a tower up there, though. Yeah, but you'll be higher. <laughs> <laughs> The La Rock Moose. For this? <laughs> you might. What's the commissioner's name? I ought to know him. Tommy. Tommy Jorlin. If the uh, if Como's going to do something about it, let's use it for toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> you goddamn Republicans. <laughs> you goddamn Democrats. You don't know a good thing when he's gone. <laughs> uh, let me see. Okay, Al, got an urgent message for you. You got another collar to fill no, we don't. Just Dave, come up with a path. Yeah, I need, I need to write down a name and number here. Uh, sure overrun the moose. Boarding. Okay. That's what it is. The moose is out there now. We're, we're just seeing if we can pick him up. He's, he's really pretty close. Uh, you can, can you hear that? I can, but the camera probably can. Okay. There's a, there's a slight beat now. And this is a directional antenna. And there's two times you pick up a strong signal. One is when you're facing the animal with the antenna, which should be... Right there. Okay. All right, now as we fade away from it, the weakest signal is when you're perpendicular to the most. Okay. And then when you turn all the way around, it's not as loud, but it is louder than the others. So that's basically when you see guys doing this, they're just turning around until they get the signal. Uh -huh. Sometimes you want to turn it side to side so that you're you're parallel to the antenna. And that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Isn't he's, that nice? He's already gone over Bear Mountain. The dog yeah, hunters just about in the now. same direction. Yeah, yeah. 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 He um, he's I was up, up in there. Uh, New Hampshire and uh, he's a uh, bear hunter. All right, go ahead now. Approximately 1 o'clock, and we've just got out of the woods. Uh, Al Hicks is unable to be with us for the grand finale because he's just received an urgent call to respond to Clinton County, where a bull moose evidently is uh, raising havoc with the farmer's fences, and they felt it was an uh, urgent enough matter that uh, he would go up. He volunteered to uh, take the experienced crew uh, that just successfully uh, collared the Lorac moose. Uh, along with him uh, if we could all get away. But uh, We'll hear more from Al tomorrow on how uh, successful maybe his second moose collaring of the day uh, turned out. Yeah. Uh, Ted, I just want to say for the viewers that are looking at this, uh, directly over your left shoulder, uh, looking at the lower hill line behind you is exactly where the moose uh, was collared today. And we are on Cranberry Lake. I want to take you out of the picture. And here we are, beautiful scenic, Cranberry Lake, and the Adirondacks. And we're back to you again. Thank you all. Uh, I would like to stress that uh, the successful operation today is a direct result of timely reporting. Uh, it's essential uh, to be able to successfully collar a moose, to know about it as soon as possible so that we can uh, get on the scene in a minimum amount of time.